Do you want to learn how to get glitter finishes on garments just like this one? Well, stay tuned for today's video because we're teaching you how to cut, weed, and apply Styles Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl using the Graftec CE7000 and the Hotronics Fusion IQ Press. So stay tuned. So we're gonna take our glitter heat transfer vinyl and load it into the cutter. The cutter I've opted to use today is the Graftec CE7000. And we have this in a 60 centimeter wide setup on the stand as well. So you can get this as a tabletop option, but we've opted for the stand just because it makes it a bit easier for us to move it around our showroom here, which may also be the case with yourself and your workshops at home. Now you want to make sure when you're loading your vinyl into the cutter, you're loading it with the matte side upwards, not the shiny glitter side. You want to cut into the actual vinyl itself and not the carrot. So if I go behind the cutter, I'm just going to feed this vinyl through from behind and then once it's loaded through, I'm going to use the lever on the side, lock it into place and as I do that, you see that these pinch rollers come up and down and hold the vinyl in place. The pinch rollers here have to be underneath these blue markers and as you can see, there are three options available. So depending on how wide your material is, there's an option for where those pinch rollers can sit. I'm just gonna press option number one on here, which allows it to measure the front edge of the material. So it knows how wide the HTV is and it will set it in place ready for its cut. So we're currently in condition number two. This was set from a previous vinyl that we're going to use. So I'm going to swap it for condition number three today. And we're going to set this up for glitter. So this button here is the settings button for the condition. So if you press that, it brings you into the back end of what that condition is set at. Condition number three, the tool that we're using, speed number three and force, which is number four, are the two main things you're going to want to adjust for every different heat transfer vinyl cut. So the speed for this one, I am going to leave at 30 centimeters per second. That's okay for glitter. We tend to recommend between 25 and 50. Setting number four, the force here is how deep that blade cuts into the material. So if you're using flock or glitter, like we are here, for example, that material is that bit thicker and needs a bit more force. If you are using sports film or premium plus, for example, because they're much thinner vinyls, you don't need as much force for them to complete the same cuts. So I'm just going to hit number four and I'm going to adjust our force to, we recommend 18 to 22. So I'm gonna go 20, see what it is in the middle. And now I'm going to carry out a test cut. So in order to do this, I just push this button here, gives me the option to move it, but we don't need to because it will do it on the corner there. Then we're going to press enter and it will carry out our test cut. went perfectly and I'm happy with all of those settings so I'm going to press this condition button again to bring it out of the settings mode and as you can see now it's ready to cut. Okay so now we're in GraphTech Studio 2 I'm just going to come over to file and click open we're going to open up our file from here into Studio 2 and there we have our design now like I've said in previous videos you can input text and different shapes along here if you wanted to create something in the platform but we're just going to use a preloaded design today now always make sure to head over to object mirror and flip your design because with heat transfer vinyl we always cut on reverse once you're happy with everything and you're ready to send it to the cutter head up to file and go to cutting view and then on here you can resize your design and it gives you the measurements as well which is super helpful and then it's connected to our cutter up here via USB, but you can also select a Bluetooth option with this, and then you just hit output whenever it's ready. Okay, so now our design's finished cutting, we can release those pinch rollers, pull our vinyl out and weed it. So we've cut and weeded our glitter heat transfer vinyl and it was super easy to do with the Graftec CE7000. It's super quiet as well, so I just had it going in the background while I was doing some other things and I barely even noticed it was there. Next up, we're going to show you how to apply glitter heat transfer vinyl. But firstly, I'm going to make sure my heat press is set up correctly. So using the Fusion IQ from Hotronics today, the main reasons I love this heat press is firstly, because you have a swing and a drawer option. You've got built-in threadability, which I'll show you in a second. And you've also got the Fusion IQ control panel, which gives you digital readout for time, temperature, and pressure, along with the two digital timers that you need. You also have a library 
preloaded when you buy this machine, full of all of our heat transfer vinyl and custom heat transfer recipes. So regardless of which vinyl you're using or which heat transfer you've opted for, everything you need is preloaded in here. So I've selected glitter today and it's automatically set it to 150 degrees, five second pre-press with a 10 second main press and it will digitally read out the pressure for me as well. So I'm going to use the swing aspect today so I can show you the threadability in full view of the camera. So we're going to be taking this sweatshirt, which is a Just Hood sweatshirt. This is the GAH030, one of our favorites when it comes to heat printing. They're really high quality and they're super comfy to wear as well. So if we're applying a good quality decoration, a Lycar Styles glitter vinyl, we want to make sure it's going onto a nice quality jumper. So for the built-in threadability, we always make sure to isolate the top layer from the bottom layer of the t-shirt. And this machine here has built-in threadability. So as I glide this on, the bottom part of the sweatshirt automatically sits underneath the heat press, allowing the top half to be fully isolated. So there's no seams up here, there's no collar, and we're not pressing onto two layers of garment, which is what I have seen a few people doing, and you shouldn't be, especially if you're using a Hotronics, use the threadability feature that we have invented. First step with any application is the pre-press. And like I said, because this has got two timers, it will automatically change the amount of time that we're pressing for when this heat press comes up. So it will count down from five for the pre-press, beep to let us know it's finished. We can lift up this handle really easily swing it away and we've got a perfectly pressed garment here. Now the reason we carry out a pre-press is to remove any moisture from the garment if they've been stored in boxes, in warehouses, or even sort of in your workshop if they've been sitting there for a few weeks gathering moisture, and also to remove any creases in the garment. You want to make sure you've got a perfectly flat surface before you apply your decoration method. Taking our glitter heat transfer vinyl, I'm just going to find the center point. So I tend to just match up the edges of my design, put a slight pinch in the top of the carrier so that I know where the middle is, and and then place it onto our garment. I'm going to go three fingers down from the collar, making sure it's straight. And glitter does have a slightly tacky carrier as well, which is great because it means you can completely have confidence that this won't move when you bring your heat press back round. Just adding a layer of release paper to protect the garment and the transfer. Glitter is a hot peel, so the second that this is done, we are going to be able to peel that carrier. So that fuse is complete now, so we just lift that up. finish on that looks absolutely incredible. So we'll give you a close up. And there you have your finished product, Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl from Styles. This is one of our best selling products and I can totally see why. The pigments in this really do pick up every single fraction of light that comes through and it just looks absolutely brilliant on this garment. Our glitter heat transfer vinyl is actually vegan and it's Okiotex approved as well. So it's safe for use on all children's garments. So you can create products that suit all of your customers regardless of their needs. This glitter heat transfer vinyl by Styles comes in over 55 colors that you can get here in the UK, including the more subtle ones that we've got here today, black, white, white, rose gold, gold, silver, and even those neon finishes as well. So you can really make those designs pop on the garment. And don't forget, the more vinyl you order, the more you save. So if you order five meters, 10 meters, or 25 meters, the price drops each time, making it more profitable for you to produce these for your customers. If you want to shop online, all of the links will be in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the Styles UK YouTube channel for more heat printing content just like this.